The 2019 Volvo XC40 is the section level hybrid for the Swedish automaker. It takes a similar fundamental recipe that has functioned admirably for the XC90 and XC60 and distills it into a littler, cuter and more affordable bundle. Like the opposition from BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Audi and the sky is the limit from there, the XC40 offers as much on style as it does on common sense or drivability. Our analyzer was the R-Design display, one of two trims accessible at the auto's dispatch. The R-Design bundle adds $2,500 to the XC40's base cost and incorporates 19-inch wheels, LED mist lights, a dark differentiating rooftop, sparkle dark rooftop rails, control front seats with calfskin and nubuck, paddle shifters and a couple of more energetic touches. Different choices on this model incorporate the $900 premium bundle, remote charging cushion, pilot help, concealed capacity compartments and that's only the tip of the iceberg a $995 propelled bundle, 360 degree camera, a $1200 all-encompassing moonroof, $800 20-inch wheels, and a couple of other individual highlights. What's more, on the off chance that you missed it, the XC40's EPA mileage appraisals turned out this week. Relate editor Joel Stocksdale, you know, I was a little led around this hybrid. I'm a colossal fanatic of the 90 arrangement Volvos, XC90. S90, V90, as a result of they give peaceful driving encounters without being excessively cushy and floaty. The XC40 doesn't convey on that. Rather, it appears Volvo endeavored to make it somewhat sportier, and accordingly it feels draded off. The ride is somewhat solid and rough. The body moves around more than it ought to over asphalt defects. Taking care of is secure however unsatisfying, particularly in solace mode in which there's a considerable measure of body roll. Dynamic tackles the body move issue and gives the directing great weight, yet it exacerbates the ride and the guiding is dependably totally numb. The motor is another point that feels a bit traded off. It's on the uproarious side, and it's not especially decent sounding, however the capable of being heard turbo murmurs and shrieks are enjoyable. I'm likewise all the more lenient of it since it's a fun motor to play with. There's a touch of slack, however insufficient to pester, and it pulls so hard in the low to mid-go. It would be extraordinary in a lower to the ground, sportier model, for example, the unavoidable S40 and V40. What's not traded off on the XC40 is the style. This thing is the coolest looking minimized hybrid available, all around, period. It's not only the bull-nosed, thick, offbeat body that makes it a style champion, the little points of interest do, as well. I'm enamored with the little silicone elastic Swedish banner label tucked in the hole between the bumper and hood. The aluminum trim with dark features on the inside is not at all like anything I've seen on another hybrid, and it the two looks and feels cool and one of a kind. It's additionally an agreeable place to be with the exceedingly customizable seats in our test auto, which gave only the perfect measure of parallel and lumber help. Volvo's touchscreen infotainment likewise is very a la mode, however it's not as simple to use as I'd like. What's more, extremely, the auto is simply so perfectly outlined, that I could pretty much ignore its dynamic deficits. Nearly. Relate editor Reese counts, I nearly prefer not to state it, however I differ vigorously with Joel. I was especially awed by the XC40. I was stressed Volvo's bundle would lose something in the refining procedure, yet the greater part of the high focuses, outline, manufacture quality, ergonomics and common sense have all continued for the most part unaltered. Of course, a portion of the materials on the inside are less expensive than what you get in bigger kin, but on the other hand it's a hybrid that begins at just once again $35,000. It additionally looks and feels superior to any of the German rivalry. I think it drives well as well. Indeed, the guiding is somewhat inert, however it's immediate and weighted well. I'm not going to cut ravines or doing hot laps at Sika. I simply need something that has a little life around town. I additionally think the ride quality is quite great. Preferred in a few viewpoints over the XC60 and XC90. Both of those can be brutal and uncompromising, particularly with bigger breadth wheels. The XC40, regardless of having discretionary 20s, is firm yet not backbreaking. It likewise feels truly created on unpleasant asphalt. This motor is a genuine peach. The fumes note is somewhat harsh yet it's extremely responsive, particularly off the line. That is genuine even in comfort mode. The 8-speed is fine, 
However it was by all accounts working somewhat harder than I might want. The plan is awesome. It's adorable and beautiful without trading off perceivability or space. Such a large number of contenders have minor trapdoors or little nurseries. This fair feels like a little, nice looking hybrid. I adore it.